If you've never done scuba diving, are an English speaker, and are thinking about taking a course in Elat, Israel, this video is for you. There are a few major issues when learning scuba diving in Israel. As an English speaker, you will likely find language barriers with your instructor. While I am used to the heavy Israeli accent, my friend barely understood a single word our instructor said in English. I had to repeat everything, which ended up wasting a lot of everyone's time. The language barrier goes way beyond repeating instructions. Both my friend and I suffer from vertigo and motion sickness, which the instructor completely misunderstood. It's not an issue while underwater. However, it can be if swimming on the surface to reach a desired area, or if you over-equalize your ears. So we lost half a day because my friend got sick because of the instructor made us swim on the surface with our scuba gear. Scuba gear narrows tremendously your visual range, which increases risk of motion sickness while surrounded by waves. After she got sick, we moved to a pool. There I got vertigo, as our instructor made us equalize our ears in a six foot deep pool. I dive in pools deeper than that, and even the ocean, and haven't needed to equalize, so this was just an overkill and it triggered my vertigo. The instructor panicked and wanted me to go to the hospital. If you know anything about vertigo, there is nothing anyone can do, including the hospital. It goes away with rest and time. It is not a life-threatening issue, and can only be managed. The problem is having an instructor who neither understands nor respects our no-can-do points. We had tried to warn him from the start, but he had not understood us at all. Further, I wonder if the fact that we were women added to the issue. Unfortunately, sexism is common in scuba diving experiences. The most obvious occurrence is when taking a tour. A few years ago, I did scuba diving to see dolphins with a cousin. We were drilled in the instructions regarding holding the hand of our guide and why it was absolutely necessary to never let it go. Then my cousin, being a guy, does not get to hold the guide's hand. Instead, he was held by the tank and guided by the shoulder on occasion times. Because it's okay to hold a girl's hand, but not a guy's. It made me so mad. Between the incidents mentioned among other issues, we no longer could complete our training to get certified. There was simply no time to take an extra day to catch up. Finally, after much arguing, because our instructor did not even want to continue the course, we agreed to an underwater tour and photography instead of asking for reimbursement. Among other issues we faced were breaking AC, having to stay for a repair guy, the course taking over 8 hours a day instead of 4, the instructor refusing to give us a break so we could eat lunch even though there was a restaurant right next to where we were. We had neither time to enjoy a lot nor energy to read through the theory part of the course, which he did not even properly specify what part we needed to read. The only good thing about that week was having spent time with my friend. My advice is Take the theory elsewhere, do the practice separately, and make sure you get an instructor that does understand your language, and any health issues you may have. Because even though you sign that you're driving at your own risk, including death, you don't want things to interfere with you having a good time. I hope this helps, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next story. In the meantime, I will leave the link to the diving school I went to in the comment section below. If you have recommendations for other diving schools in Israel, feel free to leave their link in the comment section. Please note that my personal experience is not a global critique of the school, as this experience was with one instructor, who was extremely nice by the way, and it was very hard to be mad at him. However, the results were the same. I did not get the license I took time off work and paid for. Till next time, have a wonderful week.